for horn flies, all of your horn flies are coming from undisturbed cow pets, which means they're coming from the pasture animals. It is a miserable fly for the cows. If you have more than 200 horn flies per animal, it's beginning to have an economic impact, and it can be a very serious impact because a cow can be loaded with 1,000 easy. And you can have up to a 15% milk loss or weight gain reduction just with that many horn flies because they irritate the cows, they take a lot of blood, and that takes a lot of energy that could go into milk or weight gain. Now we don't recommend fly predators for pastured cows. If you got five cows over 20 acres and or 100 cows over a section, that's just too big an area to cover and it's just not practical. And that's why we developed the CowVac. This is a revolutionary new device, basically for your milking herd. It's a device that vacuums off horn flies off the back and the belly of the cows, also stable flies off the forelegs and some face flies off the face. It randomly sucks off most every fly unlike pesticides, which are selective. Basically, they'll kill some flies, but don't kill others. And the ones they don't kill are the only ones around to reproduce. And every new pesticide has quickly developed resistance. With the CalVac, we can catch flies quicker than they can reproduce. So your cows can be down to a few, below an economic impact. And once you set it up, all you gotta do is, when the cows come in to milk, flip the switch, turn it on. When the bag fills up, you just dump that out and then hose off the filters. So in a few minutes, you've done your maintenance. It's a very effective tool against a hugely difficult fly to control. The CalVac is a breakthrough device that is going to make a lot of cows much more comfortable during the summer. And for a relatively nominal one-time investment and very nominal pennies per day for electricity to run it, it makes a huge difference. I've been dairying for uh, roughly 25 years, and uh, we've tried lots of different things along the way. Flies in general are all bad. I mean, we've used everything known to man. I don't really care for the chemical sprays. It's not something that really fits how I like the dairy. Every two years, you gotta change up anything you think you already know because the flies seem to get uh, immune to it. But the main thing is we try to uh, give a clean environment, keep the fields clipped, hopefully limit the breeding ground. That helps. We're trying to get away from the insecticides, so. We got this uh, very neat uh, cow vac. The first time we had that, just wait on them, give them time. And then the second time was better. The third time was super smooth. We've been through four times now, and the fourth time was guys filming and extra people, and we were watching, and the cows really were wondering what was going on, and, and they did exceptional, I thought. But it really, we've trained cows to go from milking in a stanchion barn to a parlor, and moved them and all kinds of stuff in life and it wasn't near as easy a transition as this so and you see the flies come gushing out of the machine into the actual bag you're like wow we've used it four whole times and we got a whole bag full of flies so <laughs> that's a good day i don't think i'll get tired of seeing that because those are the things that were destroying milk production hurting the cows and to see something so simple, gather up the flies, not very many parts in it, not much stuff to break. You know, you try something new, you never want the answer to be, oh, it kind of works. I either want a home run or a strikeout. This year, no question about it, it was a home run. None of those flies are gonna be breeding tonight. That's nice.